Greetings and welcome to episode 20 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Great Britain campaign and this my friends we left the last time where we were preparing ourselves my friends for the simultaneous invasion and operation which will dispose of both Portugal and of the Spanish assets in the Mediterranean. It's taken us a long time to get where we are my friends. Things have, you know, we've kept everything nice and calm, nice and peaceful and with patience my friends we've been able to put ourselves in a position where we can finally confront the Spanish in the Mediterranean. We need to start expanding my friends not too fast, not overstepping the mark. There's no point in doing that. All you can do is push yourselves in into some wars you just simply cannot win. We're taking small steps to start with until our economy and our armies are flourishing and then my friends look out then because then we really will be looking to take on some of the big guns but as you can see the Russians have expanded exponentially here and also Prussia as well. Prussia is at war with Russia and Russia is basically fighting on a three fronts. Sweden, Ottomans and also against Prussia. So they're bringing some pretty powerful foes. This is going to give us the time and the chance my friends to be able to pl plunge in and take what we need whilst all these superpowers are distracted. But remember we also have the Mughal Empire as well to keep our eye on. They may not take too kindly to us taking out the Portuguese <coughs> because they do have a trade, ag trade agreement with the Portuguese but the Portuguese haven't been making any trade for a long long time because the calling has been pretty much cut them off from everything else. So with that in mind I want to make sure that I can bring these gentlemen out of here this army here. I want to be able to evacuate this army if if the Mughal decide they want to take revenge on us for doing so and um, decide to try and you know remove all our assets here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a ship here, a sloop and that sloop is going to be uh, um, extricating this army here should anything fall apart away. So and also get this spy out as well. This army will then be used in campaigns in Europe or it can be used as a reserve in case we do face any particular difficulties from any nations that take, you know, take particular displeasure in what we're about to do to Spain and Portugal. But my friends, we have to do it. If I can capture this, it'd be fantastic. We're also going to cut off the Mediterranean using this fleet here. Where are you, fleet? There it is. Look at that. Beautiful. We've also got this army here. Now this army, we can't get past this, this fleet here, but as Alan, my good friend Alan, suggested that maybe I take the army, build a ship here in Cartagena here, build some sloops here, or build a sloop, should I say, and or two sloops and move these armies this army that's here and this army that's in, that's in Tangier Morocco look at that what a beautiful army that is and move them both to here and then the ships will then allow me to put one ship here because as he, as he said and rightly so Alan has always got an astute commander good keen eye as he said it'll probably take two turns for me to be able to land and also besiege. What I want to do is I want to be get here in position so that when I'm ready to strike I can simply land my troops and besiege immediately so I give the Spanish no time to respond at all. If I lose the ships then that's not a problem. They are sloops. They can at least weaken the Spanish force a little bit more and also I want to be outside Naples ready to strike at a moment's notice. We have to then seal off the, the Mediterranean from the East Atlantic. We have to be able to seal this off. We cannot be allowed to get out of the Gibraltar states. Otherwise, they're going to start raiding our lines here. This is why a lot of my money is now going to be poured into ships, as you can see here. I've already got these ships on the route. So we're going to start reinforcing not only these these forces here in and around Britain, but we also need to put some, sh some ships here, because that's a pretty big port here we've got here. So we're going to probably put one of these second rates down here to support these. So we've got four ships here to block off the Gibraltar state Straits and also then I'm going to start reinforcing the armies of uh, the Navy, should I say, the Armadas around Britain. I am going to start building a fleet here as well. So we're going to put quite a bit of our money into our Navy as well. But let's start the process of moving this army out and we can move it to Cartagena we do have the army in front Paris here so we've got this army here as well outside Milan ready to strike we have got a military access agreement with Savoy they were pretty happy with that 
So we are just poised now to be able to strike into this in this instantly, as soon as we're ready to. <coughs> we do have this army here. It's a powerful, potent army here. But I'm going to need an army here and another army here. So I'm looking for three to take out these three lands here, or two lands here. So I'm going to probably use these two armies, this army and the army here that I brought in from Britain. So I think we'll disembark here. Actually. Gentlemen. Excellent. <laughs> and I think, yeah, we're going to move them to here. As you can see, it's going to take a f just one more, a couple more turns, but maybe to bring these these troops we need into position. Make ready. Up camp. Setting up camp. That's nice. And actually, these <coughs> sloops will actually be used in conjunction with this fleet here. We're not going to raid anybody. We're not going to raid anybody at all. What we are going to do is bring the fleet here so that no one can slip past us. they do, they've got to engage us. We're going to put one more fourth rate, second rate, I beg your pardon, in here. And that is going to join the others with two sloops, some nice fast ships here, that will hold anything the Spanish throw at us. This is the fleet they're probably going to throw at us to try and push us out the way. Pretty sizable fleet there. So if we can take these off them, it's going to be beautiful. We're, we're positioning ourselves now. And then I'm going to put... I've got... These two sloops here are going to come down to the port. <laughs> Beautiful. And actually, probably this army can remain where it is. What about who is Wittenberg's? Have Wittenberg got us there? <coughs> Allies, I don't want to start poking in to people's business when I can just keep myself under the radar until it's ready. They're unfriendly. They're allies of Prussia. Mm. That could pose a problem in terms of us battering our heads against these. Oh, Not really what I want to do. can we steal? Ah. Let's see if we can steal something we haven't got yet. We're at peace with Prussia, so I wonder. We've got to be very, very careful here that we don't overstep the mark. I will leave these f troops here. We're going to start building up ready for another campaign somewhere else. We could trigger a response from other nations. We have to have armies ready to respond. We do have this army here in London which is coming together beautifully. Look at that. What an army that is, my friend. It's absolutely magnificent. Okay, right. We've got coming in next. 9285. A lot of trade partners. Allies with the United States and pr like provinces. I wouldn't mind being able to get the United States as a trade partner. I really wouldn't. That really would be fantastic. And actually the United States is absolutely decimating the M Iroquois here. So that's going to bring them into... Look at that. And Spain have got a heck of an empire up here. They really have. We will probably have the Bahamas besieged of that. I have absolutely no doubt whatsoever. But by damn, they've got a heck of a... of an empire down here. We've Luckily, we've got our Dutch friends down here as well, which may or may not aid us here. Anyway, let us end this turn, my friends. And let's see what happens here. Let's see what comes our way. Something might come along that might disrupt our plans, but I've just got to be extra vigilant. Prussia. Prussia is sending up a huge amount of forces into Russia.
Russia, my friends. A huge... Oh, look at that. The Ottomans here have struck hard there. Pushing in against them. Could we see the demise of Russia? Or will it stand strong against multiple assaults? Don't come. Don't join these forces here. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you very much, Sweden. You go elsewhere. Looks like they're just going to try and besiege Reykjavik, their, their last dominion of Denmark. Mughal, easy now. Good grief, the number of forces they've got. You imagine battling into this lot. This is going to be one of the great battles of this campaign. Because one day we're going to have to face India. We're going to have to face the Mughal Empire in all its might. Wittenberg, Dagestan, oh, United States. If I want to get trade with the United States, it would be fantastic because the trade with the United States would be incredible. I also need to deal with these fiends here. The Barbary states. Ooh. A new port, you say? I just can't afford to put anything into these territories until I know. The Mughal Empire. Ooh, oh, the Iroquois have gone. They have gone. And it does look like our good friends have... To, yes, indeed they have. Look at that. The United States has done a fantastic job there. Oh, excellent. Right, we need to bring the ship down just to reinforce this fleet here. We need to make sure that we hold on to Ready? this... Ready. Oh, that's a potent force right there. Oh, what else do we have here? Ooh. Oh, damn. <laughs> Has been damaged by this episode. But we shall not give in. No, indeed. Admiral of the bathtub. It might be a good idea to probably get him back into some kind of research position. Mind you, I could have him try stealing again. Just let's see if we can take what we need here. If we can get Division of Labour, it really would be a nice boost to our technolo technological advancement. Now, we've got our ships ready here. Jeepers creepers, we're just on the we're on the brink, on the precipice, my friends, here of doing what we need to do the two armies we're going to need. Now let's just make sure which ones we're going to use here. This army here is going to take the brunt of the fighting to Naples here. We're going to take Naples out with this army here, which is the army which saw off the, the Moroccans. And, oh look at that, what a magnificent sight. Five, count them my friends, five lifeguard regiments. Look at that, what a beautiful sight. With a smattering here of cold dream guards and the Royal Welsh Fusiliers, beautiful. And four batteries of 24 pound howitzers, an absolutely incredible force. They're going to take out Sardinia. Oh boy, we are poised, poised to strike. Right, what we're going to do is get our navy. We're going to take the champion, and he's going to be here. And we're going to have illustrious. You know, Oh ho ho! Okay, okay. Now, oh, what we've got to be careful of what we've got to be careful of are these fiends here. Hmm. This poses quite a dilemma here. I'm actually going to pull them back. I don't want to be losing any of these gentlemen at all to these. So if we've got a launch our attack against Spain and have to wait. Damn, that's a real dilemma right there. I've got to be careful because I can guarantee the Barbary states here which haven't been dealt with in all will eliminate my forces if I put them I wonder if I can put them close enough to these 
Italian ships here, which they may actually will eat us. I wonder. It's a gamble. It really is a gamble here. cannot afford to lose these, I really cannot. So what we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves here. This army, is, this navy actually is going to put itself up here. That's the gamble we've got to take my friends, that's the gamble we have to take here. There's a chance the Barbary States here might have a go at us there if they know we're around, which is a pretty much of a big bugbear of ours. But they're actually going for a dry dock here which is fine. Now, what we do need is our navy to be increased. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to put that into a naval hospital because <clears throat> if I can get out first rate ships, first rate ship of the line, we're going to be in complete oh, HMS victory, of course. Look at that. What a magnificent sight. Oh, we're definitely going for it. Worth every single penny. Two, four, Got one of those on um, third rate. I think we'll go for a third rate here. We're going to invest our money in our navy to bring it up to scratch here. And I think, my friends, that next episode is going to be the beginning of our assault here. Now, I've moved these in here so we get supported by the Italian ships here, which are bound to aid us against that. And we also have. Oh, my Gordon Bennett. Genoa has quite a sizable army here. Mostly conscripts, militia, but they have a sizable amount of them. That is a huge amount of forces here. It's a crazy amount. Most of the line infantry is actually in the capital itself, Liguria. But we're ready. We're ready to pounce. We're ready to strike. Okay. End this. I will just quick look at our research here. Just a quick. Almost there, four here. Division of labor. We hopefully can take that. I wouldn't mind to take that at all. Anyone else we can trade with now? Now, do you know we're unfriendly with us, which is fine. I <laughs> uh, don't think so. I just want. I can push it aside, and I shall push it aside. Nothing here. Damn, I'd love to get the United States. I really, really would love to get some trade with the United States because the trade there would be fantastic coming in from there. At the moment, we're getting very, very little coming from the States. 315. United Provinces are getting a good chunk of money here. Right, let's end this turn, my friends. We're taking a huge gamble here with our fleets being left in the open here. <coughs> There's nothing else I can really do. Oh, damn, I forgot to build a, f a fleet here, but. I can build a ship next turn before we strike. Prussia? What are they going to do exactly? Don't go for the Russian port, please. Ah, Russia again, my friends. What can they do? to repel the moon well, not a lot they haven't really done much here to repel anything but looks like they're holding their own though considering they're getting such vast forces they are not doing too bad at all Mukha which has an absolutely mind numbingly huge amount of forces at their disposal now, come on now, Italy, don't do anything silly. Nothing silly at all. Oh, Portugal, Portugal. <clears throat> That's we got to be careful of as well. That Portuguese fleet is there. They could do us a bit of damage. We have to take care of them. Ooh, ooh, do, do, do. Oh, my Gordon Bennett. We'll have to deal with them at all by the looks of it. No, Colin, what are you doing? Looks like the time to strike is going to be pretty soon. Uh oh, I knew it! I blooming well knew it! Oh god! No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, oh god. Oh my god, we've lost that entire army. Damn it. The fleet is lost! That whole army's just died. I don't believe it. Damn it. Holy smokes, we've lost an entire army. I knew that might happen, and it looks like it has. Drats. Well, there's no point in crying over spilt milk. What's done is done. I'm now going to set me back a little bit there, that has. Damn it, I've lost that entire army there. That's a real stick in the gut there. But what we can do is we're going to replenish it. Replace it. We've lost all of these of more magnificent troops. Okay, so it looks like we're just going to have to do what we intended to do in the first place. And I'm definitely going to rid myself of these a thousand percent. But look at that. I found it. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Look what they had there anyway. I'll be damned. Look at that. That is a pretty exceptional force right there. <clears throat> I'm not going to take any chances at all. They'll be moved back into, into the... And we're also going to recruit another sloop here. And here, we're going to rebuild that army very quickly. This army is actually going to be used now instead. So, Set sail. Jump to it and look lively. another one of those. Thank you very much. This army here is going to be sent down in its place. That was a heck of a blow for us there, it really was. Damn your hide. Army board here. Looks like we're going to have to get ourselves some 24 pounders four of those and we're gonna get some heavy cav we should rebuild that army but that was a loss we didn't need to take that army was exceptionally good but again that Barbary states nobody's taking care of Barbary states at all and really need if they were to be defeated we would be okay but I just can't risk any more troops here at all Fleet ready. I wonder if I can force the Spanish hand here I'm going to probably go early, I think, my friends, into this fight here. If I can just force them into this, because that there has probably spurred my hand a little bit there. So what I am going to do is I'm going to land this force here. So what we are going to do is we're going to launch our assault against Portugal right now. They may go for here, and for Madrid here. So in Madrid, we are actually going to begin... <clears throat> reinforcing Madrid, but we're going to go for here. We're going to go for Portugal straight away. Who do they bring? Who do they bring? Oh god, the Mughals have gone with them. Jeepers creepers. The Mughals have joined in. I, I mean, well knew it. Let's get our men out of here. Now we're going to go and try and get ourselves <clears throat> peace with the Mughal Empire. Okay. Ooh, ooh, 
hoo, hoo. and possibly get a trade agreement with them as well. Yes, look at that. They don't want to be our enemy at all. We have we have just done what we need to do here. I know we don't have any troops here now at the moment. We'll just put those in here. But I'm going to send those back to Europe just in case. I need to keep Europe complete locked down here. And we're also going to yes, get... Oh, who is Spain's... Right, we're at war with Spain. Which is good for us because we're going to do that. Prepare the troops for battle. Everything now, my friends, is coming together here. And we're going to also... Come on, help. Ready and right, we have lost that other troop, which was a bit of a nightmare for us, but still, that is what's happened. That is what's happened. We could take out this one as well. We're building another army in Britain. And let's just remove these fiends here, shall we? <laughs> Of course. Ships Victory is ours. They're being replenished. Right, we've got peace with the Mughal again, and we've also got income here. We've got trade agreement with them, so they're nice and friendly with us. But it's just Spain now. Spain have turned against us just as we wanted. Now we've got to get rid of these here. If we can use this army here to take out this force here and also deal with these reinforcements which are exceptional troops and we've done it my friends we've done it and well we've lost that we've lost that force but we're not gonna we're not gonna give in we're not just gonna suddenly collapse here in a fit of panic because something has happened here we're gonna build ourselves up this force here is gonna be formidable and actually I probably don't need these two here because I do already have three regiments there of lifeguard um, so I'm going to put two more regiments in here of line infantry. Right, let's just bring this gentleman back home here into here. Research, if you would please, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, ooh, look at that. The Dutch have got an absolute beautiful army guarding their border here with Prussia. Let's have a quick gander over here and see how things are going here with a with a oh, the Russian oh come on get that fixed now Russia they've lost Kazan Tataria here that's what's driven them up Minsk okay Let's end the tour, my friends. Things have gone a little bit, a little bit haywire for us, but also they've gone very well for us as well at the same time. Now, nothing can get through here because we've got this fleet here that's guarding that. We're going to increase our. Yeah, we've got these on the way as well, and eventually, once we've got this hospital up here, we're going to get victory out and some first-rate heavy ships. Then we're going to crush everything in existence. But my friends, let's have a. Yeah, okay, everything's doing well here. We're almost done here for reform. We can get Naval College then and build, uh, research these and carronades. I want to get those there and that one there, but that's what I want to get. I want to get that there, top gallants. Right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens. Let's see what comes our way now. Oh dear. What will Spain do? Come on, Spain. Let's see what you got now. Spain have been itching to fight us. Itching. Ooh. It looks like we're going to be facing quite a formidable force here. And, my friends, it's a fight we are going to take. It's a fight we're going to take. This is going to be huge. This is going to be absolutely a huge fight. I have to be able to deploy in the right the right position here. They're going to be coming from behind us here. We've got 
to make sure that we're in the best position here to fight these. If we can take this, if we can take Milan, it'd be fantastic. We can do this. This is going to prove a pivotal fight here. This is going to really give us a good test of our metal here. If we can take this, we have then ripped one place out of the Spanish position. We're then going to concentrate on Sardinia. Sardinia has actually got quite a formidable force there indeed. <coughs> I wonder if Portugal will come out and meet us there from Lisbon, because if they do, that's going to be a tremendous fight there. If we can take that, we have then secured the whole coast there along the uh, channel and along the Atlantic as well. It is fantastic. That will be, it'll open up trade routes for us, hopefully to the United States. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what they do here. Looks like they're going to throw everything they can here at this defense of Milan. Well, well, well. This could prove to be quite the fight. Now, where are they going to come in from? They should be coming in from behind us here because they attacked from behind. So I've got to make sure I deploy properly here. Oh my god, look at that. That is just the most beautiful position to defend and attack. So, we are going to face a formidable force here coming in in terms of numbers. So, I've got to make sure that I hold them. We've only got one force coming in from this direction here. The reinforcements are what gonna, is what's going to cripple us here. So what we are going to do is we're going to turn our attention... Gen gentlemen, please. I'm going to be right on top of these reinforcements as they come in. I kid you not, my friends. I really am. If they get up this up part here... I want to make sure I'm completely covered here, unless they're going to come in from the side. Ah, oh, it's so difficult to know. Right, we're going to go into a fully defensive formation here. And effectively, we're going to go into a square formation. So, we're going to have this part here as our central bank, because we don't know where they're coming in from. I'm assuming they're coming from behind us, so if they come in from behind us here, We've also given ourselves a good bit of distance between us and them. Actually, let's straighten this out a little bit. Just put them forward. I don't want to get. I don't want to start getting dragged into battles here within in this. So I'm going to actually. I'm going to shift them like this. And in limber, as you can see, we've got a good arc of fire here. So if they're coming from the side, we're going to be prepared there as well. But we can also shift our our forces depending on where they come in. Now we've got a heck of a lot of. got a lot of cavalry here at our disposal which will actually prove very very useful in holding any reinforcements coming in here okay that's good enough there for the meantime now we're gonna box ourselves in and then when we find out where they are then we will redeploy so that the, the, you know what we do here is going to prove pivotal to how this battle um, goes on here so we're actually going to cover our flank our front as well we don't need anything too crucial in the front let's get these gentlemen out of the way here let's get a clear vision clear line oh, gen gentlemen please your lack of discipline disappoint disappoints me now we're going to have the eighth and sixth regiments in the front these are going to deal with the, f the militia that are going to come in don't tell me we're being blocked off here Thank you, gentlemen. And I think we'll have the 8th Regiment just a little bit over there. He's going to deal with the immediate threat coming in from there. Then we're going to need to box ourselves in now. So we've got three regiments here. Four regiments, I beg your pardon, of... Actually, we'll put a militia regiment... Um, The 5th Regiment is going to let's go here. Remember, we can adjust all of these lines as the battle unfolds or as we see the deployment. I'm just going to cover my bases here. 
I don't want anything to catch me off the guard, off guard here. I'm going to sort of go into maybe a hex, hexagonal sort of shape here. Fourteenth Regiment. Okay, we're going to have good coverage here, and we've got a quite a lot of big force coming. They may even come over over here. If that's the case, I can re redeploy my forces thus. Bring them in here. Just not going to take any chances at all here. Militia. We've got the second regiment of marine grenadiers. Uh, here they are. At the sixth there. They're beautiful. Right. And now we're going to put our third grenadier regiment here. The problem is that there, we've got the 6th Grenadier Regiment, as you can see we've got this town here which is going to hinder our deployment up to a point. As you can see we've got this sort of weird, almost octagonal, octagonal deployment here, but we don't want to bring in too many of these forces into the battle. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to bring them into this defensive layer here and deploy them once deployment has ended we can get them into into position quite quickly if they come from this side here then we're gonna have to deploy very very quickly indeed but that's fine we can we can manage this it might come in from the side here in which case I need to be absolutely on the ball right anybody else outside of this of this defensive zone I've set up here no, they are but they're actually oh gentlemen please more like it. Okay, let's do this. Oh, absolutely perfect. There they are. Right, now we're going to deploy. Now we're going to deploy. It's a beautiful sight. Gentlemen. Cease fire. Cease fire. Actually, what we are going to do, we're going to push ourselves onto this hill here. Oh, no, we're not. No. straighten this line up here. Got plenty of time. I think we'll let our militia take care of their militia. We shall leave one regiment here on this side. And actually what we will do is take out a force onto the hill here. We can't hit them yet, but the general has been shattered. And we're gonna just gonna pounce on everything that comes along here. Straight into them. Give me that time I need. There they are. Move it, gentlemen. Move it. 
by Jen was actually going to take a different stance here. He's going to be more proactive. He's going to be moving up into the front lines here. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to absolutely destroy everything that comes off this line here. Look at this. What a sight this is. Pull out, gentlemen. Pull out. Beautifully done. Into the lab, don't give him anything. <laughs> Look at oh, this actually is quite nice, a staggered line there. It's quite a nice line to have there. We've got that pretty much cut off here. We've got these gentlemen hanging on here. Yes, Begin firing. They're shaking. Look what they're up against. We've lost a fair old few here to some sporadic gunfire. Come on, lads, get stuck in there now. Side here, that's quite a big cliff there. Okay, they're following us, into we go. <laughs> Gentlemen, please. We should move up another regiment up to here. Enough of that. Let's move out. Let's move our cavalry back. Let's see if they'll follow us, and we can then use the infantry to do the rest of the damage. Oh, what a beautiful sight already! Weaving under the barrage. Get out of there, lads! Get out of there! Don't we need to do? You look at that! What a magnificent sight! Look at this! It's been an absolute butcher's yard here. Please alter your fire, ladies and gentlemen. These have been removed. Hold them chased down, thank you very much. We can now redeploy. Again, a third layer of troops to be moved in. The cavalry has done a sterling job here. Let's speed things up a little bit here, shall we? Get these forces into the... Whoa, ho, ho, ho! Oh, they've been, they've been shattered here.
Prepare, gentlemen. Prepare. <laughs> oh, the sheer firepower. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Winning slightly, is it? Okay. Uh, let's see you win against these. <laughs> and now they come to their death. Reload, gentlemen. Reload. Pay yourselves. wavering <laughs> are they broken how the heck was that possible well cavalry shall remove the rest They're shattered. We've lost that militia unit there. Oh, they, they've got some courage, these. They've got some courage here about them. Begin firing! <laughs> Hold strong. Hold strong. Yeah, they're shattered, of course. Let's bring the paint. Bring the pain down upon them. I want these gentlemen completely destroyed. Yes, Valentine Aguilar dead. Oh, they're shattered. That's even better. I think we should bring up a flanking force here. This is beautiful to see. This is beautiful to see. Reload, gentlemen. Reload. You have another battering coming. Let's just speed things up a little bit here. We have many things to do here in this fight. I tell you what, these have got some guts about them. Hold your line, gentlemen. Hold your line. Pop. Pop. Line oh, look at me coming off the line here. <clears throat> look at this rabble here. Not. things up. We've got quite a lot of armies here to defeat. <laughs> Reload your fire. Ignore this, these fiends here.
<laughs> Wavering already. This could be. I want these fiends to pay for what they have done. Them the old scimitar. God, we've got the curve to bleed. Cease fire. your guns to bear. Get out of there, gentlemen. Get out of there. You've done your job. Let's forward things on a little bit, my friends. Let's forward things on. We need to have progress here. Get out of there, lads. Get out of there. Performed your task with duty and with distinction. And with courage. What the blazes get out of there. Each other here. <laughs> Better fire. Better fire, grenadiers. Fire! Second rank, fire! Third rank, fire! Look at this, this beautiful bottleneck we've driven them into here. Oh, looks like they're coming back for a bit more. Reload! Reload. Fire! Second rank, fire! Third rank, fire! <laughs> it really is a beautiful sight to see. Oh, hang on a minute. Have we got someone trying to move in through the town here? Ah. I'll try to flank us here. In firing, gentlemen, please. Fire. Second rank, fire. Second rank, fire. Oh, what a sturdy job! Look at this. The systematic destruction of this Spanish militia force. Grenadiers, prepare yourselves. Fire.
shattered. Let's bring the guns to bed. Speed things up a little bit. Yeah, my friends, let's get all of these reinforcements in. Look, they're coming one at a time down this hill here. That's it. That's the spirit. Don't let them reach our lines. Don't let them reach the line, gentlemen. Don't let them reach the lines. Excellent. You think you can stop the British taking what is rightfully theirs? I think not. Wait there, lads, wait there. Direct your fire. Is that the last lot? Is that the last lot? No, indeed, it isn't. We should be. Re oh, God. No, 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 no. Move, gentlemen, move. You're not here to be shot at at they're shattered. Move! Get out of the firing line. Look at this road here. A metal road running all the way through that territory there. Or oh, cobbled road, not cobbled road. Look at that, they've been shattered. Right. Oh look at this already a blitzkrieg here. My apologies for speeding this battle up, my friends, but as you can see, we've got one sort of regiment at a time coming from the enemy, so I want to just make sure the Spanish defeated it <clears throat> as quickly as possible so we can crack on with this episode here. We cannot be complacent at all. We mustn't let them get through to us here. We've got to keep our discipline or remain forthright in our absolute assertion that we're going to win this battle here. Again, we've got another regiment here. So we've got ourselves <clears throat> some heroics here. And again. Could this be the last regiment? I'm not sure. But they must be running our regiments by now. Gentlemen, I hope you're... Is our demi cannons? That's what my cavalry is going after immediately. We are not going to allow them to set up. Thank you very much. Redirect your fire. Redirect your fire. Look at these three regiments here have been destroyed. Every single regiment that's come through here from the Spanish. Every single regiment. They are going to avenge the loss of that that army that was in that ship by the barrier. I know it had nothing to do with Spain, but still, that vengeance should be ours.
In there, lads. In there. Do what you need to do. Do not what you need to do. Hey, broken. Oh, they shall be remembered. They shall be remembered. Of course they're broken. They fought and they faced the wrath of the Grenadiers here. How many reinforcements they've got? Right, this battle's going to be brought on into full, full fast forward mode. We're not having. Look at that, we're breaking these left, right, and centre here. This really is a beautiful sight. Hold, gentlemen. Is this it? This could be it. I think this could be the last of them. Oh, they've run out of ammo. Very lax a days ago here. Oh, out. Gentlemen, this is not just a stroll in the park. Move. This is a front line. So you want to charge? Let's look a little bit tidy here, please, gentlemen. This is still the British Army. This is not some rag bag formation. This is the Queen's own. Cease fire. Cease fire. All along the length of the line, please. They've been dealt with. They've been shattered. Yes, look at that. What a fight that was. Close victory. That was a mere scuffle there for the British Army. What a 
fight that was my friends an absolute critical fight there our first victory over the Spanish here teaching them who is boss look at this how many you lose we lost 672 men they'd lost two and a half thousand wow look at that grenadiers 364 kills that is a huge amount of, of enemy kills there all by those three regiments look at that magnificent <coughs> Prussia. Ah, why not? Why not indeed? Russia, my friend. Oh, once again. Uh, who's. Hang on. Who've got. Is this Rebels? Or is, it, is that Portugal? Or is that Rebel held there? <sighs> Plot thickens. And I wonder if they're going to push back against the Ottomans here. The Ottomans seem to be taking quite a bit here. D a military alliance. Why not strengthen? Why not just strengthen my hold here? Yes, why not? We're not going to be involved in the war with Russia anyway, but we'll get military alliance. And they've got some good strong allies. They've got Prussia as their ally. Are they going to land to try and take St. Petersburg? If they do, that's going to be a huge body blow. No, they're not. They, ah, they might be going for Denmark. <laughs> there it is! Holy smokes! 2,000, yeah, roughly about the same amount coming in for us here from the side. But my friends, we're going to take this battle next episode. And what a battle it'll be. And they will also be without. They have now, because they've attacked us here, they've negated these huge amount of mortars. They've got five mortars they had here. But now that brings us into this range here. They've got two cannons at their disposal. We've got two as well. We've got, we've got some heavy cav here. Too heavy cab. Most a lot of all of this is though is going to be infantry battle. How many cavalry they've got? No cavalry at all, apart from the bodyguards. So that's going to do us well. We're going to go hunting for this, for these artillery here. And they've got a full complement here of forces, so these are not to be sniffed at at all. But my friends, the battle we're going to take next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. Of course, we did take that pretty heavy battering there. We lost that army for absolutely nothing. Again, it sunk there in the sea, but. There's no point in crying over spilt milk, my friends. It's happened. It was a, it was a potentially a problem. I went for it. I miscalculated what was going to happen. The Barbary states come for us, but they will pay. The Barbary states will pay for that. Believe me, my friends. In the long run, they are going to pay very, very dearly for doing that to me because I'm going to put some first, first-rate ship of the line into the into the Mediterranean. It's going to absolutely blow anything out of the water there we're not going to allow the Barbary states to breathe ever again that I can assure you but my friends I'm going to leave it here and we're going to have a huge battle when we come back a huge battle next time my friends but until next time I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please comment like and subscribe please keep your comments coming down below my friends they are absolutely invaluable to me they really are I haven't forgot about replying she's been very very busy with work and one thing or another my friends so I will promise you get around to replying to all of your comments um, I, it does mean a lot to me that you do comment 
Um, my apologies for not renaming anything these couple of episodes, but things have just been so busy. I've just wanted to get the episode sort of started and get it, get them out as much as I can. But anyway, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a good weekend thus far. And until next time, my friends, bye for now. <laughs>